Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning and organizing our ensuite bathroom. Now this is a very small bathroom with limited storage and we've just let the products build up so much in that room. Both Matt and I love products, but we really need to minimalize our things now. So I'm gonna go through it all today and I would encourage you guys to get involved as well. Now that it's back to school, I really want to clean and organize my entire home. So I'm going to make a series of organizational and cleaning videos and each week I would love for you guys to go ahead and clean with me so if I clean my ensuite bathroom maybe you have a small bathroom at home that you've been meaning to sort out and you can clean it as well send in your before and after photos and the really good ones I'm going to share in my next organizational video so I will put my email address in the description down below just email in your photos and hopefully it will motivate both of us to keep this going um, and I'm going to organize the bathroom today in the Marie Kondo way of organizing which if you haven't read her book she basically goes through all of her things and just thinks if it sparks joy or if it's useful and if an item or a product doesn't spark joy or is useful she gets rid of it so that is what I'm going to do today I'm going to try and be really ruthless and I also have a few clever storage ideas that I want to share with with you as well so without further ado let's do this so this is our little ensuite I told you it was very small so in here the shelves in the shower aren't too bad there are just a few products over there it's these shelves that are a little bit out of control we just have so much on show and I, I did buy this with good intentions but I haven't really used it to its full potential um, Matt has loads of products this is his shelf and then loads of aftershaves up here. Then I have my makeup bag left in there from this morning. Just random products everywhere. And in here, I really want to organize it a bit better because I've got some cleaning products and I've got some SPF and I've got things that I don't actually need to be available all the time. So if I can find somewhere else to put some of this stuff, that would be good. And then over here, again, it's just so messy. I bought this for jewelry, um, but I probably don't need to keep my jewelry in here there's also some makeup that I can't even remember the last time I used um, more makeup and then a few more products as well so the first thing I'm gonna do is take every single product put it on my bed and just go through what I want to keep and what I want to throw <music> everything laid out on our bed cleaning products beauty products just so many products I can't actually believe that all of this was in there so now that all the shelves are clear and the sink is clear I'm going to give it all a good clean before I sort through all of the stuff <music> but I've had a good sort out of things I want to keep and things I want to throw. All of this here is rubbish. All of this is going. Um, all of the cleaning products I don't actually need up here. I should just bring up the ones that I need when I clean rather than have them all on the bathroom floor. All of these products here are ones that I do want to keep but I don't actually need on a daily basis. Lots of these are just backup products where I've bought like two for one or things like that. So I do wanna keep all of these, but I don't need them on our shelves. This is to be put somewhere else. There's also some medicine to go elsewhere. All of these products over here are ones that Matt wants to keep. So they're all staying. These are all the products that I use day to day. All of this is the skincare I need every day, dry shampoo. And I have decanted all of my makeup from my makeup bag into one of these clear 
things here. I don't actually need all my makeup in a bag. I only need that when we go away. So while we're at home, I think it's really nice that I can easily see everything and reach for it. Yeah, and then this will make you laugh. This is how much toothpaste I had in our ensuite. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and some floss and backup toothbrush heads. And all of this is teeth whitening stuff for when I whiten my teeth. This is the tray, but I really don't need all of this out at once. So I need to find a place for this. And then this is how many razors I had. So again, I only really need one out and to store the rest of them. So now I want to put everything back but in an organized way. So I'm going to put it back in baskets. This one is from Ikea. I also have some from Poundland, which I really like. And they actually fit perfectly in this under the sink drawer. So I can put one on either side there. And then a really cool thing that I found on Amazon is this little tray. It doesn't look like much, but it is a turntable. So one of the problems with these shelves is that when I put stuff on them, the stuff at the back I tend to use less because I can't reach it. But on these turntables, we can just turn and get to the products that we want to use. So this is Matt's shelf all sorted out. I've put all of his skincare on this turntable so he can turn it around. And then I have this little pot for his razors like scissors, samples, and stuff like that. So already that shelf is looking so much more organized. So I'm now gonna add my skincare to this turntable. And as you can see, I've put my makeup tray there. And then I also wanted to show you this storage here, which I found on Amazon. It just goes on the back of your door. It's gray with little white polka dots. And there are four really big places to store products that I'm not using all of the time. This is a great place to keep some things because no one ever sees the back of the door except for me and Matt. And we are so short on storage in here that this should help a lot. All right, so I've put everything back now and I will now show you the after. You may also notice that it's nighttime now because I finished this off at night. So as I said, this is all my makeup in this Perspex thing, which I got on Amazon. This is my skincare turntable, which I'm really loving already. I'll link everything down below. I did get most of it on Amazon. This is Matt's shelf with his turntable and his razors and bits like that. And then this is his shelf with his aftershave, so it's looking a lot more organized. Then over here under the sink, it has two little baskets. I've actually put our toothbrushes and toothpaste under the counter because I think it's nice to keep the sink empty if we can. So I've got that there and my deodorant. Then I've managed to put two of our big products under here. Then I've got like some washcloths, feminine products, fake tan and stuff, mirror all under the sink and it's all looking so much more organized. This new storage here, I've got these two filled up with like backup products, like Elemis products and extra fake tan and dry shampoo and stuff that I'll need. In this one, I have mostly razors for both of us and also our millions of toothpaste. And then in this one is all of our teeth whitening products. So that has a place there. Then over here by the window, it is looking so much clearer. All I have now are our cotton buds in this little thing that I got from Primark. I thought it was really cute. Um, or is Primark or Poundland? I'm not sure. And then I thought I'd put this little plant from Ikea there. It is fake. I just thought it added something to the room. And then our shower hasn't changed loads. Um, it's just got a few products out on the shelf there. Right, so that's it for this video. I really hoped you liked my small bathroom storage ideas and clear out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I challenge you guys to do the same to your small bathroom and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!